stability, as per two separate statements from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Shukri expressed the Egypt's deep concern due to the unprecedented negotiation of Iran and Israel, which threatens to spread relations out of control. Jupiter's regionality and endanger the interests of its peoples. Egypt's top diplomat, Ernest Iranian, and Israeli counterpart exercise mass refrain from policies of a break and mutual provocations that could further extensions and energy in the Middle East. Furthermore, he stressed Egypt's firm stance in calling for a ceasefire in Gaza and facilitating the entry of humanitarian aid. Shukri also underscored Egypt's rejection of any actions aimed at displacing Palestinians from their lands. Shukri's call with the U.S. Secretary of State, Antony Blinken, also addressed the developments in the region, particularly concerning the launch of Iranian drones targeting the Israeli targets, the escalating tensions in recent Amida war, and its regional complications. He briefed his American counterpart on the outcomes of Egypt's intensive communications with both the Iranian and Israeli sides in addressing the crisis and preventing it from spreading out of control. Now uh, we are joined over the phone by Mr. Abdurrahman, political analyst and journalist. Good afternoon, sir. Hello to you and hear you. So, uh, Mr. Amr, uh, let's first uh, start by the reason uh, behind Israel launching its attack on Iran's uh, embassy in Damascus and why Israel is opening another front uh, in the conflict. Uh, reason uh, behind such attack uh, reminds me of an of a border attack against uh, the leader of the uh, revolutionary uh, of Iran, Qasem uh, Soleiman, who was killed in 2020 uh, in another raid uh, accomplished by uh, the U.S., both U.S. and Israel. Uh, it took Iran four years and has never taken any uh, response except for uh, statements and fiery statements towards, the, the, uh, towards Israel and uh, the U.S. Despite that the U.S. has declared its responsibility uh, on the tongue of Mr. Trump, ex-president, uh, <clears throat> ten months before, another launched again against um, Iran, yes. in the mm -hmm. uh, other, which are creating, creating, uh, we call it, uh, the um, chaos in the trying to redraw uh, mm -hmm. the, the, the the map. The geopolitically uh, map to the to the east, which uh, which is uh, confronting true threats, not just by the the Jewish existence, but also by the Iranian uh, influence, the Iranian influence that that is controlling terroristic organizations, which are the Houthis in Yemen and what they call it civil law. So we have uh, right now the Arabic uh, occupied land by the indigenous existence in Palestine, and we have this conflict, this historical conflict with uh, the indigenous existence, along with uh, the being threatened by uh, the greed of the, 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 the Persian, uh, the, the historical greed in the Arabic territories, and of course. Uh, along uh, with this, uh, or among this uh, greedy uh, conflicts and uh, agendas in the Arabic um, interests and fortunes, we are facing uh, such a uh, chaotic scene between uh, the Zionist ex existence and, uh, and Iran. And I uh, take a, the, the, this one that has declared it quite clear. How could Iran launch an attack and before it launches it, it declares that the, 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 the zones are going right now to go all the way to Israel. Before it starts and when it starts launching the attack, it declares it that the, the drones are going right now to Israel. Taking the whole time uh, for which, which 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 is more than four hours or three hours, giving the chance and the free time for the, the Israeli uh, air defense to take the action, to get ready for law, uh, for uh, for being uh, ready and uh, drop ninety and ninety percent 
of the Iranian uh, drones and missiles. That means this is a, <clears throat> a scene played by the two uh, greedy powers uh, in the region that doesn't uh, represent a true attack or true revenge, as they call it in, um, in Iran, and giving the uh, masterminded by the, 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 the units and the Western media. We have a theme. We are, they are trying to drag uh, the, the whole separate, the whole region, uh, a, a bloodshed and, and chaotic scenes that can only uh, serve their own agendas, not the agenda of peace and not the purpose of peace and prosperity that uh, only the, the powers of reason is seeking, like Egypt. We are only the power that uh, the, Ara the Arabic power, the leading power, is maintaining stability and sound of reason in the whole region. Yes, uh, uh, Mr. Amr, also, uh, if we talk about uh, the uh, effect of this uh, escalation on uh, the whole region, uh, do you think that it will impact uh, the Middle East, uh, this escalation between Iran and Israel? Well, uh, considering, uh, of course, uh, well, they call it a, 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 an Israeli response for the, uh, the Iranian uh, attacks or so-called attacks against the, the Jewish existence. Well, of course, uh, we, we, we expect more escalation on too many levels. It's, uh, it's, 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 a, it's a very critical moment of our history. I remember uh, right now the, the files the, uh, of, the, of, the, of the Iran Contra, when uh, the uh, when Iran was launching uh, their, uh, their, their that hostile war against Iraq to to beat, to trying to eliminate uh, the Iraqi uh, army, which was one of the largest armies in the region and in the whole world, and of course I remember that file, that conspiracy, got masterminded by both Israel and the U.S and the CIA and Iran to, to, uh, that uh, the U.S. and Israel has uh, transported weapons and, uh, and a very high level weapon to Iran in this uh, conspiracy, what they call it Iran Gate. I, I remember that right now and I remember how they are, they are um, uh, attacked Iraq and destroyed the Arabic uh, uh, Iraqi uh, army, which has threatened the whole national security, the whole Arabic national security, and our own national security in Egypt, because Iraq is the, is the eastern gate to our national security, our, our eastern border uh, of our national security. So I believe they are about another uh, agenda or another hit. Uh, trying to attack the, uh, the, uh, the, the Arabic uh, national security. I believe that only, the only way to stand against such attack and hostile agendas is by uniting the Arabic uh, powers, uniting the Arabic, uh, all the Arabic regimes all together, the, the, led by Egypt, the only true shield and armor for this nation, I'm talking about the whole Arabic nation. I'm talking from from Algeria, from to, to Gulf, to Sudan, to, Som to Somalia, to the heart of Africa. We are the only leaders of those uh, regions, and we are we are the only true leaders that deserve that leadership by our own sound of reason. Mm. That sound of reason is protected by the true, the only true military power and uh, the supreme uh, military, military power in region. Yes, uh, uh, Mr. Amr, what role did the United States and our Western allies play in supporting, uh, uh, play in supporting Israel's defense against uh, the Iranian attack? Well, of course, the, uh, Israel has uh, the full support of the Arabic, uh, of, uh, excuse me, of the, of the, of the Western uh, powers, like the U.S., like the EU, like Europe. And of course, uh, we expect that the, the, uh, the war statement I might add, will go on and continue for the, for the uh, coming two weeks. Uh, this, that was a statement between Tehran 
and uh, Tel Aviv, and of course between uh, the, 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 the capitals of the West, will, co will continue to uh, keep on the fire on, to keep, to keep the heat on in the region, to keep the, the chaotic uh, agenda uh, uh, on wheels. But yes. we can never allow this. We, can, we will never allow any uh, chaotic uh, agendas again after we have succeeded and achieved the, the most historical victory, uh, strategic victory, by breaking the wheels of the, what they call it the Arab Spring, which is an Arabic autumn and a Zionist spring. And uh, by, by, the, by uh, launching the, 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 the June 30 revolution, that changed the face of the, of the region, the whole face, and saved the nations of the region from uh, chaotic agendas. I believe this is the only way, uh, by uniting the Arabic forces, uniting the Arabic efforts towards such agenda. Yes, I'd like to thank you, Mr. Ramra Drahman, uh, journalist and uh, political analyst. Thank you, sir, for being with us. Uh, give viewers a short break, and we'll be back. So stay tuned.